Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Grid Review. I hope you are all doing well. Today for this episode, it is time to review the Smith's Pack Pal Tinder Maker. This does include Fire Striker, Ferro Rod. Oh yeah. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's take a look at this product now. Now before we take a close up look at this product here, it needs to be mentioned that I discovered this product thanks to BattleBox. It was in one of their boxes, one of their mission boxes, that this was included. I've never seen this before, and it's something that I thought was pretty cool. Now, over the last couple of weeks, I've been testing this out, carrying it with me on my trips, and there's a lot of good things to say about this, but there's also some negatives. So let's take a closer look at this right now. Okay, so what you get here essentially is this grater. You also get this container right here. It goes together just like so. As you can see, it has this lip right here, and that is where the fire striker and ferro rod is attached to. I took that off. It's easier to use this without it being attached to the container itself. You do receive this very small ferro rod. It comes with a striker, and I'll get to this in just a minute. When it comes to the dimensions here, essentially what you are looking at is 3.65 inches long. It has a width of one and a half inches, and you're looking at about one inch deep. When it comes to weight, you are looking at 1.9 ounces with the ferro rod and the striker. So very lightweight. One cool thing about this is that when you're not using it, you can flip this over. That way you don't have those sharp edges potentially tearing up any of your gear. So it can be stored this way. You can also store the striker and the ferro rod inside of this, just like so, all in one. Good thinking, interesting idea. Okay, so let's just go ahead and see this in action here. So you flip it over, you get that ready. Very, very sharp grates. You could take your stick and simply just rub it across the surface, across that grate. And what you are getting here on the inside is some very fine, as you can see, very fine tender. Also, you can see the stick here, how it's just filing that down, grinding it down. You can even do it long ways, just like so. Really put some force on it, you'll get some longer shavings this way. Go ahead and show you that. See those longer shavings? Now you may be wondering how long does it take to fill up this container while doing this. Doing it just like this here, I have been able to fill this up in roughly two minutes. So, I mean, as you can see there, that was about a minute or so. You know, whenever I go to start my fire, I'll just keep a Ziploc bag with me and I'll throw all of that fire starter inside of a bag, just like this. Build up a nice supply of it before striking. <laughs> you can see there how that's filing that down. Go nice and slow, get those really long pieces. So again, more natural fire starter. This is very, very easy to do. Doesn't really hurt your hands or anything like that. You don't have to put too much force on this either. It does give your arms a good workout after a while. You will notice it a little bit. So yeah, in no time at all, you can have a nice good pile of natural fire starter. Yeah, I mean, so check that out. That is some pretty good fire tinder, ready to go. Shaved up nice and fine. It will accept a spark very, very easily. Now talking about sparks, this ferro rod is not bad. It does a good job at throwing sparks. This scraper, Guys, I absolutely hate this thing. <laughs> In my opinion, this is just terrible. I really dislike it. I mean, really. Um, yeah, I've been able to strike a fire with this, yes, but I 
just hate it. I really do. I will go ahead and see if I can't strike a spark with this. As you can see there, it does throw the sparks. It just doesn't throw very good sized pieces. It, it's, it's not very grippy, so it doesn't grip to the ferro rod and throw nice big slivers. And that's one thing that I like. That's one thing I look for in a really good ferro rod and striker. This ferro rod is very small and that does make it somewhat more difficult to use. I'm trying to get as many big slivers as possible. <laughs> I just dislike it. Alright, so let's use a ferro rod, which I do like here. This thing is a beast. It does a really good job of throwing some sparks. So there you go. Yeah, so folks, that's pretty much it. This is the Smith's Pack Pal Tinder Maker with ferro rod. Uh, I really like this part. This part, not so much. It's just a little bit too small for my hands. I really dislike this striker. Uh, I've said it before in other videos, but where I've been using this thing, this thing sucks. It is terrible. <laughs> but this here, I, I, I really do like this. So, you know, and the thing is, you don't have to carry this box with you if you don't want to. You can carry just this. That's definitely an interesting option, right? The teeth, stainless steel, very sharp, does a fantastic job and continues to do a fantastic job with all of my testing. I like it. Very, very lightweight. You could toss this in your backpack, less than two ounces for just this right here. I do suggest being careful rubbing your fingers on this because this is sharp. You know, when it comes to this product, there really are two negatives. One is that ferro rod with the striker. Nah, it's just, uh, it's just okay. That striker's god awful. But the price is high for this. This runs $16 with the ferro rod. And I mean, that's really pricey for what you are getting right here. Very pricey indeed. You know, with just a little bit of skill and know-how, you can make something very similar, very comparable to this for a dollar. You really could. So, you know, the thing is, I'm going to give this a passing grade because I like this part of the product. I do think it's pricey though, but this does serve a real world purpose and it makes excellent fire tinder. You saw there just how well that pile of tinder accepted the spark and started burning with a good ferro rod, right? But yeah, you know, just to show this off, that was my main goal. I wanted to show this product off to you guys because I haven't seen this before myself until it came in one of the battle boxes, boxes, mission boxes. And yeah, you know, as soon as I saw that, I was like, huh, that's very, very smart. It's a very smart idea. It's a smart product. The implementation on this aspect is just fine. I really like it. Striker, terrible. Now, I have talked about the con in regards to price, but it should be mentioned that there are a few other products out there on the market very similar to this, and they're actually more expensive. Some are just as simple. So, you know, I think the price is high, but it's in the same ballpark as the other products out there. So, yeah, I don't really see that as a negative from Smith's, exactly. Until next time, everybody, strength and honor, be well.